How's it going guys? So today we're going to talk about a field expedient way to calculate medications. So how are we going to get certain drip rates and things? I'm using principles of the clock method and a little bit of ratios and proportions. So instead of doing the entire dimensional analysis for a drip rate, we're going to chunk it up into a couple different steps. So you might be asking yourself, well, why do I need to know this? Well, let's say you've got a patient that's on an RSI drip or an epi drip or something, and you need to calculate that kind of quick, like less than a minute. You're in the field, you don't have a lot of resources, and how can you kind of pack your bag to make sure you have kind of like terms. So first thing we're going to say is it's a three-step system. So first step, the drug I have, the volume I have. Second step, we have to figure out our desired dose. Our third step is the actual clock or the proportionate section. Now, before we get into this, let's talk about our drip sets. All of our drip sets are, you know, 10s, 15s, 20s, 60s. So we have our macros and our micros. Now, if you notice, all of these divided into 60. There's a reason for that. There's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. This is going to be important later. So we have a 10, 15, 20, 60. We can kind of divide those all into each other. 10 will go into 60 six times. This will go in four times. This will go in three times. So there's a method to the madness. So for the first one, we're going to kind of do a softball one. So we're going to talk about epi. So we're going to set up an epi drip. So what is the drug I have? Well, I have one milligram of epi. We're going to put it in a 250 cc bag. It doesn't really matter what the solution is at this point. Now, how we figure this out is it's a factor system here. How many times does the volume I have go into 1,000? Well, why are we picking 1,000? Well, because it's the metric system. We have 1,000 milligrams into one gram. We have 1,000 milliliters into one liter. We have 1,000 micrograms into one milligram. Kind of get the trend here, metric system. So now, how many times is 250 going to 1,000? Well, it goes in four times. That's my factor, all right? So our factor times the drug that we have. So we have four, but we have milligrams here. We're gonna drop it one concentration to micrograms. So if you have grams goes to milligrams, if we have milligrams goes to micrograms, and the reason we're doing that is, this is actually over 1,000. Instead of having to do the entire math equation, it's a known known because it's a common factor. So how many times does 250 go into this? Four times. Four times this is four, but we're still dividing it by a thousand. So instead of putting that decimal point three places back and then saying, hey, you know, 1.001 milligrams is actually one microgram, we're just kind of figuring that out. It's a known known. So our concentration is four micrograms per cc. So this is our known known for concentration. This is the most important calculation for this side. Because without this, we can't fill the clock out. Now what is my desired dose? So the provider comes up to you and says, hey man, I want you to push five micrograms per minute on this patient. You're like, all right, five micrograms, cool. Well, how are you gonna get from this to this? Well, this is where our clock comes in. Now if we have a 60 drop set that we talked about earlier, So if there's 60 drops in that micro, so if a total of 60 drops falls to that drip chamber, you get one cc of volume. That's its measurement. So that's its proportionate. So 60 drops equals a cc, and in one cc I have four micrograms of medication, then 60, milli or 60 drops equals four micrograms. So we've got a little clock here, we'll chunk it up. So what is half of this? Well, half is 30, and then half the medication is two, one quarter of it is 15 and one, and then I usually just add these two together. So one half, one half of the half, and then over here. Now I've got my clock filled in. So now I have to figure out how much fluid I'm gonna give them. So I started the same way every single time, and as you start to do this over and over and over, you'll see patterns. So I get to 15 drops, I get to a quarter. Is one microgram more or less than five? Well, it's less, so I'm gonna go to two, also less. Three, also less. Four, also less. So we're going around the clock one time. So we're at 60 drops and four micrograms. So four plus one is five. So another 15 drops. So 
So at 75 drops a minute, I'm giving an equivalent of five micrograms of medication. So I've reached my desired dose of medication, and this is how much fluid I have to give to achieve that. So this is the same as saying, if I drew up one and a quarter cc's of medication and gave a bolus, I'd give five micrograms of medication. So this is where 60 comes in handy, so kind of listen to this thing. If there's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, then I'm flowing 75 milliliters an hour. So when you go to your, your drip pumps and every your IV pumps, and you program, hey, how many milliliters an hour are you gonna program in there? 75 milliliters an hour. You might be asking yourself, well, why is this number important? Well, my background is as a flight medic, and if I had a two hour flight and I only had 100 milliliters of solution and I'm flowing 75 milliliters an hour, well, I need two bags then. So this is a way to kind of do your fuel checks or your pre-checks on all of your medications to make sure you have enough for whatever transport you have. Now, this is a pretty easy one. So we're gonna do a little bit more complex one with a weight-based calculation. All right, guys, we're back. and We're gonna do a weight-based calculation this time. So one of the, the most known weight-based calculation medications out there is dopamine. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our clock method the same way. So the drug we have, the volume we have. So let's say we have 800 milligrams of dopamine. And we're gonna put it in 500 cc's of a solution. So how many times does 500 go into 1,000? Two times. So the factor of two. Two times 800 is 1,600. And because we're dividing it by one concentration dose, we're gonna go from milligrams to micrograms per cc. So that is our known known concentration for dopamine. Now what's my desired dose? So let's say we have anywhere from 2 to 20 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Uh, arbitrary number, let's do 12. So we're going to do 12 micrograms per kilogram per minute. And let's say we have a 100 kilogram patient. So 100 times 12, 1200 micrograms per minute. So we have our desired dose, we have our known known or concentration, so we have our clock, so we have the known known, it's a 60 drop set, we start everything out with a 60 drop set, 1600 micrograms per cc, which is equivalent to the 60 drops in a minute because that's a cc. So now we divide it in half, 30 drops is equivalent to 800 micrograms, Divide it in half again, so 15 drops is equivalent to 400 micrograms. Divide it in half, I'm sorry, add these halves together. 45 drops is equivalent to 1200 micrograms. And now we go for our desired dose. So we get to 15, we have 400 micrograms, that more or less. Well, it's less, right? So 30, we have 800, still less. 45 drops, 1200, and that's our desired dose. So we're giving 45 drops a minute, which is equivalent to 45 milliliters an hour. Now, since you've already filled out all this information, you've already done all the math, let's say Private Snuffy decided he gave you a 20 drop set, not a 60 drop set, and you're like, oh man, well now I have to redo all my math. Well, you don't because you've already got all this filled in. So we're just changing the number of the drip set. Because remember, this is 20 drops equal a cc, and this is a cc of medication. So therefore, it's the same proportionate. So if I have a 20 drop set now, well, now I'm giving 15, mil, 15 drops a minute on a 20 drop set, but I'm still giving that 45 milliliters an hour because the proportion is the same. This is still a cc. That's still a cc. So now I'm still giving 45 milliliters an hour, so if I still have my same flow rate, but now I'm giving out a 20 drop set, which is 15 drops a minute. If you guys have any questions on this, feel free to message me, email me or whatnot. Uh, this is a concept that I, I didn't create obviously, but I kind of adjusted it and tailored it to my, my kind of skill set, my job set. So if I had various medications I had to flow over time in the back of an aircraft, well I could do these calculations in about 45 seconds on you know five by seven card or whatnot. And it allows me to check my medications and to check my times. So if I had, 
a 500 cc bag, I'm not really gonna be worried about this, but if I had a 250 cc bag and I'm flowing 45 milliliters an hour, he's already been out for three hours and I have a three hour flight, am I gonna have that medication? So this is where this really comes in handy. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, message me and we can uh, kind of square your way. I appreciate you guys.